Hi, this is Mike. Today is the 9th of July 2018 and today's adventure is going to be climbing Mount Baker and I'm doing it with my guide Vince and I'm going to hand the uh, camera to him and he's going to tell you lots of facts and figures about Mount Baker. Hey, this is Vince with Baker Mountain Guides and out here with Mike today climbing Mount Baker, uh, the second most glaciated volcano in the lower 48 right after Mount Rainier. Uh, Mount Baker also holds the world record for snowfall in a single season and is one of the youngest um, volcanoes in the Cascade Range. Actually it is the youngest. So we're gonna climb up the Easton Glacier route today starting at uh, the railroad grade trail um, and we're gonna go up to about 6,000 feet and camp at uh, Sandy Camp, and then from there, get up, uh, you know, casual morning, maybe 2 a.m. we'll get up, and head up to, uh, head up for our summit bid, which uh, the summit of Baker is at 10,781 feet, making our total ascent from this point uh, roughly mm, about 7,400 feet. That's a lot of elevation gain. That's a lot of elevation gain, Mike, but I think you got it, buddy. Thank you. So I heard that this is the second most volcanically active of yeah. Cascade. Yeah, B Baker is um, kind of on the watch. Uh, it could, it, it's due definitely for an explosion, which due means it could happen in the next two weeks or mm -hmm. the next 200 years. So hopefully we go with the latter. Um, but uh, it's a cool mountain, one of my favorites, great ski mountain, and uh, psyched, to, psyched to hopefully take you up on the summit. And I heard that in terms of fumaroles, it's second only to Mount St. Helens in terms of current activity. Activity, yeah. Especially on the Easton Glacier, we're going to go right by the Sherman Crater, uh, which is where a lot of the gas and fumes and vapor are expelled um, out of the crater. So I uh, hope you like uh, hard-boiled eggs because that's what it smells like up there. Okay, thanks Vince. Yeah, we'll see ya. Onward and upward. Let's go. Okay, we are about two hours and 20 minutes into our adventure. And this part of the Mount Baker Trail is called the Railroad Grade. And it's called that because, if you look at it from a distance, this part of the trail and that kind of that ledge in the distance look like railroad tracks. And at this point, I've been walking on snow about half the time, but obviously not right now. And, um, yeah, let me continue in a minute. All right, continuing on here. Um, yeah, that that is Mount Baker. That's what I'm fixing to do tomorrow. And what you see there is a false summit, I'm told, but the real summit is not far behind it. And what was that pointy mountain in the distance? Sherman. Sherman. And, oh, that's Lincoln to the left. and Lincoln to the left and Colfax. and Colfax more things to add to my bucket list and that peak the high one way off in the distance is Glacier Peak the after this it'll be the only Washington Cascade I haven't done Yeah, so that, that's your progress report. Okay, progress report. It's 3 o'clock p.m. and I think we started at 11.15, so it was 3 hours and 45 minutes to get here. And so this is kind of the halfway point and around where we're fixing to camp tonight. You can see other, two other groups that are camping here. And 
You, you can see there's uh, water trickling down there, so we have a source of water. And there's Mount Baker. So it's our plan to leave at about 2 in the morning. Okay, over and out. Here's a closer look at our water source. The name of this uh, place where we're camping is Sandy Valley, if I remember correctly. And contrary to what I said before, we started at 11.45, so we got here in only 3 hours and 15 minutes. Uh, quite a world different than the parking lot from which we started. Anyway, we made good time, and yeah, more later. Good morning, guys. It is about 4.50 a.m. We started hiking at 3 a.m. out of camp. And yeah, we're on the Eastern Glacier. What I'm looking at right now is, um, yeah, the left side there, on the left side of the saddle, right behind it is the summit. And I'm feeling good. We passed over um, a crevasse about 10 minutes ago. I don't know if the video will show this, but I think this is really cool. I can see the lights of Vancouver this direction, and the lights of Seattle this direction. So I've never seen both cities at the same time before. All right, onward and upward. Progress report time. It's 6.20 a.m. This is the saddle. It is the last rest before the summit push. And down here, we can see the fumarole. As mentioned before, this is the second most um, volcanically, currently volcanically active cascade behind Mount St. Helens. Uh, I forgot to say, that peak right there is Mount Sherman. And that range way out there I don't know if you can see it very well, but I'm trying to center it in the field of view. That's the Olympic range. And it's kind of on my bucket list to do Mount Olympus. And out there is a Puget Sound, looking down on the San Juan Islands, where I'll be tomorrow. And yeah, I'm feeling good. Onward and upward. Canadian, Canadian mountains out there, that valley below us. We came up down that way, and off in the distance there is, um, the Olympics, no that's the Olympics, and that mountain, volcano I should say, that I'm trying to center is Mount Rainier.
right, we're on the descent now. It's about 8.05. This is the way we came, by the way. And uh, somewhere down there is the overall. Maybe it's more over that way. Anyway, there's Rainier again. And I want to point out this is called the Roman Wall. We have an opportunity to record it before. But yeah, this is uh, this is the wall we came up. Probably the steepest sustained part of the climb. Thanks guys for watching. Okay guys, I had to show you this lake. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's this really beautiful blue color because it's um, glacial runoff and this was pretty close to where we camped there's some other groups camping just above it so definitely worth a little side trip for hi guys this is Mike and it's two days later and I made it down from Mount Baker without incident and back home in Las Vegas so, wanted to thank Vince with Baker Mountain Guides for a great trip. Um, lots of guides will pay attention to safety and get you to the top, but Vince was um, great fun to hang out with, very um, interesting guy, and he made the trip really fun. I learned a lot of stuff from him that a lot of guides probably don't teach you because they probably consider it non-essential. But he was a real stickler, for example, on how to pack a backpack. And he, to be honest with you, he hated the way I did it. His advice is to put the heavy stuff on the bottom and in the back. And, and he hates um, stuff sacks, except if it's for real little things that are related together. For example, he doesn't use one for a sleeping bag or a tent. And that's going to be a really hard habit for me to break because I love stuff sacks and previously my policy was to that as long as all your stuff is in the pack, you're good. But no, he taught me some good lessons about that. And what else did I want to say? Oh yeah, what's, what's next for me you might ask? You're probably not, but I'll tell you anyway. Um, so that was my seventh Cascade Mountain. And nothing really is high on the list in that area right now. Nothing on the calendar, but I would like to do Glacier Peak, the last, the fifth of the um, Washington Cascades. And I would like to do Mount Olympus, not that it's a cascade, but that one has always tempted me. And having been in Colorado recently, I would love to go back there and cross off more 14ers from my list and there's lots of them there and looking long long term I still want to I really really want to do the John Muir Trail after that the Lake Tahoe Trail and I still want to do the Appalachian Trail before I get too old and maybe Kilimanjaro in 2019 and Aconcagua so look forward to my reports about those things hopefully so thanks for watching guys. Hope this wasn't too boring and you learned something and you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next peak. Bye.